Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video and the videos that follow, I want to go over some things you can do in Microsoft Word to create a business report. Okay, so I'm looking at a sample business report. Basically, it's a guide on how to write a business report uh, from University of Wellington. So it's a pretty good guide. Now, there'll be a link to this in the description of the video. But I want to do this in Microsoft Word, focusing on some particular formatting techniques you can use. They'll actually have a sample of a report. There's a memorandum, and basically there's a title page. So we want to kind of make a sample title page that looks like that, not too complicated. And um, we're going to skip over that mem uh, memorandum, but then we can use the table of contents to kind of stru structure an outline for our documents. So that'll be pretty useful. So I'm going to kind of move this off to the side so I can see this. It's not in the recorder. And I'm at a Word document right now. I can see on that title page, uh, everything is pretty much centered. So a couple ways you could go about doing this. You could just center everything right from the start. You can center everything when you're all done with the title page, or you can go through and modify styles so things are centered. So that could be one way to go. I will go ahead and discourage you. I do like to use styles, but I want to discourage you from using the title style and instead go to something like heading one. Um, just for ADA compliance, uh, it's actually better that our styles use heading one, heading two, and heading three versus title heading one and heading two. So I'm going to kind of look over at my example and I can see that uh, there is a, a title on here. I'm not worried about centering yet. And I'm just go ahead and type out the title. There we go. So I've put in my title using the heading one style. And I can see in the example, in the visual aid, their particular title is spread up over two lines. And you might want to force that to happen. So a useful trick is to use a line break. So basically, after the word college, in fact, I'll select that, press delete. After the word college, I'm going to press shift enter, which creates a line break. And a line break is simply a break in the line without creating a new paragraph. That's really useful when, when working with uh, bullets and numbered lists too. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some example text, kind of like they have here in their example. There we go. So I've got all my content on there. Now what I did not do was create a bunch of empty line spaces. And although you can do that, there's better ways to create line spaces when you want them. So for instance, if I see that there's supposed to be line spaces in between my, my title and the presented to, best way is just to click on that first title paragraph. And then I can head over to my layout ribbon and just increase the after paragraph spacing to get a level of spacing that I want. That's actually a little bit better than just pressing your enter key multiple times and creating artificial empty paragraphs. Because later on, if you change font sizes or some paragraph formatting, that could affect that spacing. Now we're a little bit more explicit and specific. OK, I do see that there is a lot of stuff that's centered. I don't necessarily want to center all of my headline ones, so I'm not going to modify a style. Instead, I'll just go ahead and select everything on this page. Technically, I could have selected my whole document, but I'm going to be very specific. Select only the text that I have. I'll do a Control E to center. So Control E to center or home, and I could have used the center button on the paragraph group. Now that I've got these sections, you can see that there are closer line spaces between some of the groups. A couple of approaches to this. Instead of pressing the Enter key after each paragraph like I did, I could have done that Shift Enter line break trick. Well, I didn't do that. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and select a group of paragraphs, head back over to my layout, and I will decrease the after paragraph spacing for those particular groups. So then I can do the same thing down here and decrease some spacing. Now it looks like I may have missed a person's, oh, there it is right there. So let me grab that and I will decrease. And then for this um, date, I can simply add more before paragraph spacing. So using before paragraph spacing is a way to get through. Now, in theory, you probably want to stick with a pretty standard font here. I'm using an 11 point Calibri. They might recommend a slightly different font. Now, since so, mu so much of my text is relying on the normal style, this is where modifying a style is going to be a good way to go. So I'll simply right click on my normal style, modify. I'll change my font to a 12 point font, and I'll do good old standard Times New Roman click OK. That modifies my normal style and modifies all the text that's using the normal style right there. 
and okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this for now. Although I can change it later. So if I want to cre create more spacing or change the fonts, not a big deal. I see my prepared by is not in a in a good spot. So I'll just go ahead and add a little bit more spacing to that. There we go. So just kind of play around with that. Now I'm ready to start working on my document outline. And to do that, I'm going to just go to the last thing that I wrote before on my date here on the page one. And I'm going to do a page break. So right there, I'm going to press Control Enter to create a page break. So Shift Enter creates a line break. Control Enter creates a page break. And then I'm still centered. So I'll just do a Control L for left alignment. Now at this stage of the game, I just want to create an outline. And my outline doesn't have to be that complicated. I can just do a series of headlines, H1s, heading 1s, in order to create the key parts of this particular document. I now have a series of heading 1s that break up the key parts of my document. Now what's great about using these heading 1 styles is you can use these to navigate. So on my document I can press Control F. That's going to open up the navigation pane and I can navigate by the headings in my document, easily jumping around from one to the other. That doesn't seem so impressive right now, but once this document gets really big, this is a super easy way to jump from one place to another. The other thing you can do, I'll close that, is I can head over to View and I can change this over to Outline View. And I can look at my document in an Outline View to keep me focused on the various sections, um, expanding them if I had other headings and things like that. I will go ahead and close my Outline View. So that's a start to making our uh, college level report. So far we've just got a title page and we've set up our outline, our structure of our page, by putting in some key headings.